dear magnificent, dear rector of university, dear Professor Rosa, Excellency, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I have been here 30 years ago, and I, it was, uh, again, like a love from the first class, wonderful university, especially when you come from Cambridge. There is so, so much in common. Also, I'm here to tell you the story of Armenia and Armenian universities as well. This wonderful university was created in 1386 and has lasted all of these years, creating huge success, history, more than 50 Nobel Prize winners, professors, research institutes. In uh, 1373, we had one of our famous universities also created in Armenia, in Tatev. But that university, again created by famous scientists, philosophers, specialists on legal issues, but it lasted only 70 years because they were destroyed by invaders and so on. That's about importance where you are and when you are. Armenia is a crossroads of civilizations and we had to face the reality that we're on the borders of different civilizations, different faiths, different beliefs, and different ideas, different religions. It's 21st century, the world is changing, it's changing dramatically. So, welcome to the new world. This new world is beautiful. I'm trying to give you sort of a taste of this new world because I am really enjoying it. Really enjoying because, as I, we were speaking with, with the rector, that it's, it reminds me times of Renaissance, or it reminds me early 20th century when there were huge discoveries in physics. There were so many questions and where people were coming with non-standard theories and ideas and resolving problems. The 21st century, especially now, is going to be a century because of the merger of interaction, interconnection, science, technology, and the new ways of education. I think the excitement of discovery is going to be huge. And that excitement of discovery will also be applied to social and political life of any entertainment of in the new world of 21st century. Of course, then uh, a simple con conclusion. What is there in this new world for a small country like Armenia? I think to put it in a Twitter form, there is a huge world for Armenia in the new world. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's a small nation, truly global. I mean, there are three, four, maybe five times more Armenian li living abroad. We are strongly interconnected. This is a nation where for ages education mattered. We are people that have, because we are, we lived on the crossroads of different civilizations, cultures, and, and religions, and we had to learn how to survive. And this is another quality that in the 21st century for social behavior is very important because if you are speaking about the new world of startups, you have to be very dynamic. You have to adapt very quickly to the new circumstance. You have to find the solution immediately. You don't have the time of three or five years. You have to make your decision today. You have to make it immediately. So adapting to the new circumstances is another quality, which is also the same quality of being a survivor in the new world. In the new world of politics, of development, of business, you have to be a survivor. So what is there for Armenia? I mean, a country that doesn't have huge natural resources, we have enough. I think we have a very good school of science and technology, which was developed more than 100 years ago. We have a huge culture, which is a Christian culture, of valuing the same art, science, human behavior. We are survivors. And in this new world, at the end of the day, is the time for us to show that small can be beautiful. We are a nation that, and a state that has this wonderful opportunity now to build a new country in the new world based on the power of knowledge, discovery, and the quality of innovation, 
and education. Armenia has a good tradition of natural sciences, starting from astrophysics. A small country has a particle accelerator, electron positron accelerator, observatory, plasma physics center, and so on and so forth, nuclear power plant, and so on and so forth. I do believe that we can do a lot together. And in the new world, the new Armenia, because Armenia has to be new, because the world is new. And I, I, I think we are, there are so many ways that we can work together with, with Germany and specifically with Heidelberg. And that the focus of all of that cooperation should be focusing on the future, on the new technologies, on the science, technology, education, and the new forms that we can invent together or help each other. Yes, indeed, we have good mathematicians that can be helpful in artificial intelligence, which we are doing now. Yes, indeed, we can work together on life sciences as well. Yes, indeed, we can look at uh, the possibilities of doing more further research in, in, in physics and mathematics. And please use the Armenian Global Network. Because when I speak Armenia, I don't mean only Armenians that live in Armenia, three and a half million. I mean all of the professors, researchers, businessmen that all over the world, around 15 million of them. I really have an idea and a mission to make Armenia small but a very successful uh, science technology country. And the way forward is going together with friends. And I, I consider Heidelberg as a friend. And I'm looking forward to build bridges between Armenian universities or Armenian-related universities and researchers with Heidelberg and do maximum what I can do in order to make this cooperation reality. Thank you very much.